Ooh, peace. It has been a while. It has been a while since I've been online, man. I thought y'all like, where, where are Aubrey at? Where, where the videos at? Well, I'm here. Peace, I am here. So, I don't know why my video looks grainy, but it looks really grainy. It's weird. Anyways, peeps. Um, how to keep your man satisfied without sex. Okay, let's listen. How do you keep your man satisfied without sex? <laughs> Ladies, if you went silent after this question was being asked, you need to stay away from men. And I'm going to tell you why. You need to stay away from men, heal from your trauma, sit there, learn about a man. Peace. She said that you all need to heal from your trauma. I don't know why you women get heartbroken and have trauma and then you come into the dating scene. Y'all not even ready and y'all come in here with demands like we, us men, are going to meet your demands. Y'all are like, what's wrong with y'all? Peace. I really don't know what's wrong with y'all. Get to know what a man is, what a man wants, how to satisfy a man. Learn to love a man properly without sex and then go ahead and try to date a man because y'all are blatantly out here. Don't know what a man wants. Don't know how to please a man. Don't know how to communicate a man with a man. But yet you are still dating him. That makes no fucking sense to me. Now, if you're one of those girls who thinks, yep, my kitty runs the world. You know, that's all he needs. <laughs> Crickets, bitch, because you sound stupid. Now, one of the things a lot of men love, and I'm pretty sure you guys don't know this, is peace and quiet. So if your man comes home from work, a nice hot cooked meal, massaging him, taking care of him, letting him unwind without the nagging, massaging his feet, making him feel wanted, putting on his favorite movie, his show, sitting down playing games with him maybe, I don't know, maybe reading his favorite book with him, doing things he likes to do. You ever sit there and ask a man, hey, honey, what's your dream date? What makes you happy? Half the time, I don't even think y'all women know what a man's dream date is. Did y'all even know that men have things that they love as well? Not just you and your pussy? Peace. I, who is this girl? <laughs> who is she? <laughs> Shoot. Is she married? Peace, she married? Cause I, I shoot, I need to find out where she, who she is, and get with her. I'll get down on one knee to her. Listen, she basically is. Ta she's talking to y'all. You women that are single, you ain't got no man. Can't figure out why where the good man is. She's talking to y'all. Peace, she's talking to y'all. Y'all need to listen. A lot of women will never understand this, and I feel like you guys will fail to realize this. That's why we say this as people. Learn to have a great personality. Learn to be funny. Learn to be so peaceful and have a beautiful aura to yourself that men want to be around you, especially your man. Because when you really think about it, if you care about your outer appearance and think that pussy and all that stuff is going to keep a man, you're fucking far from, like, wrong, you guys. Like, you're wrong. That's not going to keep a man because when all this stuff goes away, how are you going to keep him? How will you entertain him? Will you have good company? Will you be peace? Will you be cooperative? Are you easy to talk to? Are you understanding? Are you compassionate? Are you a sweetheart at like heart? Do you have a big heart? Are you genuine? Can he lean his head on you? Can he tell you things without you throwing that shit in his fucking face? Wow. Can he confide in you? Can he trust you? There's a whole bunch of other ways to satisfy a man. And guess what? Men are so simple. Yeah, yet you guys still are. act like it's pulling teeth to understand a man. Yep. It is. If you sit there and take the time to study and research your man because every man is different, I promise you, you will learn some shit. But in order to do that, you have to learn to love a man first, ladies. This shit right here, ugh. I don't understand how a lot of women have big platforms when they're not even as educated as a lot of women who don't have big platforms. But hey, go ahead and follow these type of women because they are leading you guys right into fucking destruction. What's up? Ooh, shoot, peeps. She basically said everything I've been trying to tell y'all since 2002. 
Men are simple, actually, if you think about it. I mean, we literally require nothing. And as far as the type of women we like, I think men, even though we're all different, there's like really two or three types of women we like. There's really only one main type that we will marry. But there's really only one type of woman, uh, two at max, well, three at max that we like. And one that we'll marry. But hey, I can't tell you those secrets. You got to get with your man and let him and, and understand him and figure out. But when y'all be coming out to us about, you know, with this long list. And that's another thing that I want to talk on and discuss too. A lot of women, for some reason, um, I don't, and I don't know the reason why. But a lot of women that I've um, run into uh, over the last two years, they think that... In order to have a relationship, you're supposed to have things in common. You're supposed to have... I keep trying to explain to everyone. Men and women are different. We are not going to like the same things. <laughs> Peeps, when you grew up, think about this. Think this. Let's, let's use some critical thinking. Think back to grade school, fourth grade, third grade, second grade. When you was on a playground... What did you see? You didn't see men and women playing the same things. You saw the girls usually over in the corner talking with their friends. And you saw the boys running around, playing on the monkey bars, playing on the swings, playing. If there was a basketball, well, back in the day, most schools had basketball, of course. So you played basketball, kickball. Matter of fact, I remember back in Langston, we used to have to almost dang near. Uh, go on strike just to get the dog on kickball. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what we was doing. While the girls were over there just, you know, talking about whatever it is that they talk about. And then, yes, I understand people are going to say, well, we us play kickball, we play sport. Yes, thank you for being the the minority. Thank you for being the minority. Not the majority, okay? So, growing up, now that we're adults, we're going to like different things. Men are not going to, listen, I don't ever, I'm going to tell you something. Go to work, go to work, ask a woman, what did she do over the weekend? You're never going to hear women talk about, oh, um, I'm going to take my kids camping. Oh, I'm going to take my kids fishing. Oh, I'm going to take my kids. Matter of fact, do women even hunt? I don't even know. When I say hunt, I'm not talking about going with their man. I'm talking about like, these strong, independent, I don't need no man, do they actually say, hey, I'm giving up to go hunting? Because the only people I know that go hunting is, is men. The women may tag along with the men, which is their dads usually or their husbands, but I don't ever, I've never heard a woman say, I'm going to go hunting, camping, and I'm talking about without a man, right? Hiking. I don't hear this. So, just FYI, Having things in common is not going to create and maintain a relationship. Just letting you know. Anyways, let me know what you think. Because uh, she basically told y'all a lot of stuff. and Y'all not going to listen. And this is why y'all stay single and can't find a man. Because you don't want to know what a man likes. You have no interest in men. You just want the title so you can flaunt it on Instagram and Snapbook and... Um, TikTok with all that stuff. Anyways, I'm out. I gotta go to sleep. Peace and I am gone.